Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Full Metal RS Race Gauntlet, available at Revzilla.com. So the Full Metal RS is the new top of the food chain from Dianese. We're seeing it on Rossi, you see it on Hayden, you see it on Bradle. This is the Apex Predator in the line. It's replacing the Full Metal Pro that we saw do so well in years past. Now moving to this new version, aside from being CE certified, they've beefed up the protection in a few areas. They've also added some comfort and flexibility features. I'm a fan of where they've taken this glove. They've stolen some DNA from some other technologies they've utilized within Dianese. But again, you're looking at a glove that's a north of $300 race gauntlet that sits atop of the Pro Metal RS. And it's really going to be the best of what's available from this Italian very style focused but protection focused manufacturer. Now, quick note on sizing before I dive into all of the nuances. I'm wearing a size nine or a size large. It is a European glove. I typically wear a large in American cut stuff. So I find that buying my size as a large here in Dianese is gonna fit through to size from what I'd see from a Revit, from, I, from what I'd see in a first gear, you know, from some of the other more American cut manufacturers. And keep in mind too, we ship for free. Our exchange policy is very, very painless if you're not sure about buying the right size online. So let's walk into the nuances here as I roll through the Full Metal RS. And again, what I'd also love to see is your gut reaction to any of the new improvements, key points, or positioning of this glove. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Leave us your comments or your feedback. I'd love to hear them. So looking at the glove, there's a few key types of leather going on here. And again, it's built about tactile response. It's built around comfort and protection. So you're gonna be able to focus on the glove while you're on the track, or focus on your ride rather, to keep you from being distracted. Cowhide on the back of the hand. And one of the nice things you can see is this outer, outer material. This cowhide is gonna be premium cowhide and everywhere on this white red black fluoro version that you see here, anywhere that's white actually has a light layer of foam underneath for added protections. You can see it on the back of the cuff, you can see it on the back around the titanium slider and then into the fingers. Looking at the palm really quickly, you're going to notice goat skin. Again, lighter weight, strong tactile response. And then baked into the glove, you'd have a whole Kevlar liner on the back of the hand, again, for heat and crash protection. Again, giving you that top level of protection in a glove that you're gonna put through its paces. Now, starting with the cuff on the back of the hand and working our way forward, you're going to see that it's different. And I have our old version of this glove. I have the Full Metal Pro here. Remember, this is the Full Metal RX. Notice the cuff. They went from a single nodule and ulnar protector in carbon fiber to now a TPU that's seated with additional padding to get some good coverage and some good raising so it's going to slide. Keep your hand off the pavement if you decide, if you happen to have a get off. Again, big area of improvement here. Moving into the back of the hand, you're going to see very similar in its style in the way the titanium slider seated within carbon fiber and you have this titanium panel here too. Now, if you were to go some, with something like the Pro Metal RS, you wouldn't get the titanium in the back of the hand. It's a, diff, a little bit of a different setup. And that would be a bit of a step down or a little bit less of a tech investment than our full metal here. Moving to the fingers, you're going to quickly see another change for this year. One that's obvious and one that's not. Now, if you look at it, the way that they used to do the elastication mid-digitally was a little bit less flexible. And again, the aggressive, there's a really aggressive pre-shape on this glove. Again, meant to be in the tuck position, hooking probably with two fingers while you're on the racetrack. Notice here, larger areas of elastication, lots of double stitching, it's Kevlar stitching to keep everything together. Again, it's a big safety element. Things aren't gonna come apart or burst if you go down. But if you'll notice, they've not only given you more flexibility, but also on the ring finger, you have now elastication where you didn't have it in years past. And moving into the fingers, you're gonna see they're exactly the same as they are last year. Streamlined with some light padding, and again, the carbon fiber raised sliders. Now looking at the pinky, one of the things that I like about the fit of this glove that's hard to pick up until you put it on is that the pre-shape of the pinky is slightly different. On last year's model, it wrapped in a little bit. It curved a little bit around. And again, depending on the shape of your hands, depending on how you ride, that could be comfortable or uncomfortable, folks, and that was on that Pro Metal. On the Full Metal RS, you're now going to have a more straight shot at the pinky, and that was the Full Metal Pro last year, actually, was last year's model, not the Pro Metal. So on the Full Metal RS, now you have the DCP system, which is this TPU that keeps your finger from wrapping. It's gonna keep things together if you go down the low side crash. You also, you can see the outlines of them. There are hard parts that are built underneath the extra layer of leather, but it's more of a straight shot with the pinky versus more of it being curved and wrapped under. And again, for me, that's a bit more comfortable. I also like, I don't know, we talked to Dianese about it, they claim they didn't change it, but I do like the way that the titanium knuckle fits against your hand. For me this year, it fits a little bit better. It's a little bit more ergonomic. Now as I start to roll over, you're gonna see a very similar setup on the outside or the inside medially on the inside of the hand here, the way the seams come together. 
But what changes is as soon as I get to the thumb, now I'm back into that improvement zone again for 2013 for this Full Metal RS. Now I have a carbon sli fiber sl slider on both points of my knuckle. I have a, another area of mid-digital elastication for comfort, but I like that Dionase has also added microelastication here on the inside of the thumb, so it's a way to add no more weight, no more you know, no more area of imperfection to the glove that might give you a burst point. What they've done is they've added light elastication to the inside of this glove. And as you can see as I get to my palm, remember I'm back to goat skin. And the cool part about this glove, and again, I think this started with Valentino Rossi, is that you have an asymmetry to this glove. And remember, you can get the Hayden or the Valentino replicas. They're available as well. So there's asymmetry. I have a left-hand side glove on, right? I'm using Pittard's leather, which is a bit more abrasion and water resistant at the crook of the hand in an area that's a little bit more static on the bike. Now, if I went to the right-hand side of the glove, what you'd see is digital sheepskin, as well as two points where you're typically working your clutch, and that, or your brake, rather. And that's going to be on the first two fingers on the top side of this glove. And again, that's the right hand slightly different. You still have what I call the Dionese tickler, which was, is this rubberized piece that gives you a little bit more grip and tactile response. And remember, I mentioned it earlier with goatskin. Goatskin is used because it's a little bit lighter weight. It's a little bit more flexible. You're going to feel more of the controls, more of your bike. Now, moving into the palm, you're going to see another area of microelastication. Again, that's a new change for this year. Uh, a dense area of foam at the ball of the thumb. And moving to the outside, to the heel of the hand, now we have two key changes that are brand new. You see this white panel that wraps all the way around from the top. Notice there's no seam there. They did that last year. I really like that. Again, less seams mean less areas of weakness. But what they've done is they've trimmed down the slider now. It's a little bit more low profile. In the last version, it was a little bigger. It was a little bulkier, felt it a little more. Now it still gives you that great slide coverage both on your palm and on the outside of the hand, protect that scaphoid bone, but now it's a little bit more low profile in its shape. And if I turn this bad boy over, you're gonna see that. You can see how it's designed. It's just slightly smaller and it's gonna be more comfortable. And notice too, when I talk about that single piece, this is last year's version in the black, you can see how that goes around. And if I bring this up as well, you're gonna see the key differences in the thumb. The thumb is dramatically improved for this year. Also what they're doing for the first time on the Full Metal RS, is you now have a flap that's going to cover your elasticated wrist strap here that in a slide it's going to make sure it stays intact and gives you full full coverage notice too in this glove i mentioned that it's a pre-curved pre-curved shape but there are internal seams here it's not an externally st stitched glove and then moving into our cuff our cuff really hasn't changed a ton on the underside again it's meant to be low profile stay out of the way and just really complete and completely do its job so keep in mind, with the Full Metal RS, it's absolutely an apex predator. Top of the food chain, the latest and greatest CE rated for 2013 from Dionese. This is it. There's not another glove in the land that wants to compete with this bad boy. And you need to know that and make that investment, but know that you're getting the best of what's available. You don't have to take my word for it, though. Read the customer and rider reviews at RevZilla.com. You can click right here, visit us on our site, do your own research, but use what I'm giving you today to digest this glove and how it's designed, positioned, and built to protect as a starting point. Remember, we're gonna ship for free always, and we make our returns and exchange process super, super easy. And past that, if you wanna really break down the nuances between the Full Metal RS, the Full Metal Pro, if you wanna go last year's version, give our gear geeks a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed break breakdown of the Full Metal RS glove from Dionysia, available in six colors, including race replica versions. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.